Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, something new today, set up a green screen. I can put myself wherever I want. Let's say I wanna to go to the beach, at the beach. Let's say I wanna to go to the strip club, at the strip club. Let's say I want to go skiing in Denver. Skiing in Denver. But let's get back to the video at hand. So I know we talked the other day about um, women moving way too fast in relationships, right? So just wanting to be married so quick, the time's ticking, they're about to hit that wall and they don't know what to do. So uh, this video is another video from the Steve Harvey show. Uh, it popped up in my timeline as a recommendation. I thought it was hilarious. I want you guys all to take a look. Uh, let's go meet Edward, who is being put in a really awkward situation. And it's time for our panel to weigh in on a couple who are having some relationship issues. Uh, so let's get to it. Let's say hello to Kelsey and Edward. So Kelsey, uh, tell us what's happening. Me and my boyfriend met two years ago at a party. He was so attached to me. We've been inseparable ever since. We moved into a beautiful house. We had all these dreams of like getting married. I want kids. But now we've been living in this house for a year and it's still no ring, Steve. Look at Steve's face. Look at it. He's even surprised by that. Look, you've known each other for two years. You're already talking about babies and marriage and all this stuff, right? You live, you're living in his house for one year. This man has lived with you for one year. And you're somehow confused as to why you're not getting married already? Let's keep going. <laughs> so how do I get the ring, Steve? That's, ah. what, that's why I'm here. Ah. <laughs> How do I get that ring, Steve? When you wait, you know, until you're... Okay, so here's your panel, right? These are your panel of women that are here to tell Steve and tell these, this guy, Edward, about what he should do. And I, I know the one on the left uh, and the one in the middle are both single. I looked up both of their, like, Instagram accounts. Both single women, both posting up all that, you know, why can't I find a man crap. The one on the right looks to be married. I believe she's married with a couple of kids. I can only imagine her husband is one hell of a simp. Let's see what they have to say. Engaged with the date set and the deposit. <clears throat> yeah. Moving in with your person and exploring certain things that are new to you guys versus like, you know, going through the trial run and you may never get there. No shade. But he what if he decides that that's not what he wants? What about when you hold on? That's she, see, look, she makes a good point, right? You got to take the car for a test drive first. You got to drive it around for a little bit. You got to try the shoes on before you buy them, right? You have to try a relationship on before you buy it. I mean, if you just jump right into something, uh, that's one of the things I always regret about my marriage is I don't think we took a long enough time to get to know each other before we went and had kids and all that stuff. I think more truth may have come out before that time period. So you, you there's nothing wrong with if you want to be in a relationship with doing what Edward here is doing, taking his time getting to know the person. And, you know, let's be honest, he's probably starting to realize that she's a little nuts. Let's keep going talk about this when you say when are we getting married what does he say to you um well he's very yeah well, he right there what you say there because no, it could be two stories so there you go so look at that so she's not even acknowledging that the guy's even there she's asking the other girl the 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 girlfriend to explain his story he's sitting right there explain his story crazy let's just talk to the dude tell him what's up what do you think she could be saying something and he could be, he, like she could be hearing That's something true. different. That's right. true. What are you saying to her? Well, you know. Um, <laughs> Not the link. No, I don't. We don't. I'm honest with you. No, brother. Tell us. You know, yeah, he I, just I, says, I, you know. I tell her all the time. All. You know, I'm just. They make fun of him. I'm enjoying right? the you gotta moment make fun right of the guy, now. We're right? building a bond together. You know, I'm from LA. Of course, I don't have a lot of, you know, um, great positive role models that are married okay, in front of I me. So I'm just... I'm gonna, we're building a bond. I'm going to stop you right there. Go ahead. Because you know right away if you want to marry somebody. Hold on. So did you hear what he just said? He said that we're building a bond. We're getting to know each other. He doesn't want to, you know, do things too quickly type of a thing. And she stops him right away and just says, huh, -uh. no, you know, right away if you want to marry somebody. So you're telling me that, you know, the second you meet them, that you're getting married to them. You don't even know the person. You don't even meet the true person for at least six months at least six months in the relationship before you even get to kind of see who the real person is because these women, man, they put on a front. Let's see what she has to say. 
especially at your age. Exactly. You're not. You're not. You're not 20. <laughs> you didn't just discover this relationship. Right. I. You've experienced life. I have a hard time when I hear men saying we're building, we're getting to know we each other. We've been here for years. Well, how long does it take? When will you know? You know, and you know whether or not you want to yeah. do it right now or not. Back. See, but that's the point. You don't know. You don't know if you want to do it right now. You don't. You got to get to know the person. That's all the dude's saying is, look, I just want to get to know her. We're living together, right? I let her move into my house. That's not enough. Now we need more, all right? So that's not good enough. We need more. Let's keep going. So you I, know that. I, I, I want to just point out, and in the moment process, Here we go. Um, as your girlfriend was talking about being unhappy, you were smiling. So I feel like that's an incongruence in, in, in this relationship. And you're withholding, and there's a deeper issue. It's not a... Yeah, the deeper issue is he knows what's up with this broad, and he's smiling because he knows that he's being put in this horrible situation on TV because of her. Because they've lived together for one year, and she's not happy. They're not married yet. About whether he wants to get married or you do. There's something else happening here. When you're talking about feeling in pain and what you want and your partner's smiling, that's a bigger issue. So move out. <laughs> she said, move out. She ain't moving out. He pays for everything. She said, I live in his house. She ain't moving out of there. That means she would have to go do her own thing and figure out her own life and take care of her own finances and buy her own food and, and pay for her own car payment, and her own everything. Yeah, that's why she's still there. She it, she ain't going nowhere. She, was she going to try to find another one? Well, eventually, if he don't put the ring on, she'll start. See, the thing is, this dude, you can tell he's a little bit street, but he's also been beaten down by women enough that he's starting to cuck up a little bit, you know? And, and you'll see that towards the end when he starts agreeing with him. And I think he might just be agreeing with him just to shut him up. But let's keep going. Move out. All right. She can fix this right now. Right. This is all you got to say. If you want me to continue the way this is, I need a ring and a date. If not, I am going back to where I come from. And when you want me, you come and get me. That's yeah, that's called an ultimatum. Those don't work. All it is. My man, didn't I say that? Are you willing to do that? And hold up. And let me tell you this right here. <laughs> I'm looking at them two right there. Uh-huh. This is the chick of his dream. This top of the line. Yeah, he... Yeah. Just do hit jackpot. All right, Steve. Look, you don't even know that chick. You don't even know her. All you're going off of how she looks. Does she look good? Yeah, she looks good. But let me tell you something, guys. For every good-looking girl out there, there's a guy that don't want nothing to do with her shit. Nothing to do with it. Remember that. Yeah. <laughs> he know it. You he outkicked your coverage, bro. He can't you know? do no better than this. I know it. <laughs> he knows the real hair. He, he knows what's that. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. The moment she put that down, I'm going to tell you how I know. Because Marjorie did it to me. I gave her a ring in December. She went home, told her mom about the ring and all that. <laughs> January came. She said, so Steve, so when are we getting married? Yeah. I told her, I said, baby, you know, I just got out that divorce. Let me clean up a few more things because there's some mess hanging out here. <laughs> she said, we can clean it out together. I said, no, nah, just let me get myself together. She took the ring off. <laughs> she handed it to me. Wow. She said, I'll put this on when you let me put a date on it. Big fat. I took that ring, put that thing back on her hand. <laughs> I said, when you want to get married? <laughs> this was in January. They she all said, want it June so 24th. Bad. I asked her five months later. They want to lock you down so they can take that money. She did it to me because she was the chick of my dream. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, man, the reason why you don't think it's a good time to get married. Uh, because it's been one year, Steve. Does that count? Well, you know, I definitely want to. I mean, I've been in prior relationships, of course. And, you know, I haven't got married up to this point because normally, you know, you get past the representative stage where, you know, everything yeah. is like, you know, lovey-dovey and everything. And then it becomes the actual person that you're talking to. I can't do no better, Steve. Yeah, don't ever say that. Don't ever say you can't do no better, all right? Don't don't ever, like I said, no matter how hot she is, th there's some dude out there that don't want nothing to do with her. You know, um, but see, here's the problem. What you have in your right arm is the girl of your dreams. So the date ain't important for this guy because he got the girl. What you now have to understand, bruh, 
is now that you've got what's important to you, you now have to provide what's important to her. Yeah, it's always been about that. <laughs> My man, Edward, do your thing, man. Make it right for him. Definitely. This be a good year, man, to go and make it right for you. Because <laughs> cause you got a sweetheart of a girl, man. You really do. Thank you. And hey, y'all. All right. So, first of all, like I said, don't ever go to women for your advice, ever. I mean, you see these women right away. It, it's instantly side with the woman. They don't even want to hear the guy. They don't want to hear that he's making logical decisions here, that he's thinking about possibly, you know, taking the time to get to know the person before he moves in with, or before he lives with her and, and has a, gets married to her. Look, we can live together. That's fine. I put a ring on that finger. That's a contract. I got, I'm stuck. We all know that that's the worst contract out there. Everybody knows 50% of marriages fail. And those are the that, of first marriages. It's like 65 of second and 75 of third. That's insane. Why would you ever do that multiple times? I'll never get married a second time. But that's the 50%. Here's what I always tell people. 50% of divorces or marriages end in divorce. Think of all the relationships, the marriages that are in horrible situations that they hate each other and they're just going through the motions and they don't get divorced. Those are only the ones you see on the paper to 50%. You could be talking 70 to 80% of relationships are failed and, and only 50% of them go to the point of getting a divorce. That's all I got for today, guys. I hope the green screen worked out good. We're going to find out here when I go to edit it. I love y'all. Uh, subscribe, like, yada, yada, yada. Leave some comments down below and we're going to have some more fun with this. I'll see you later. MGTOW.